That intro never gets old. I'm Shantla Israel, the host of Chats with Shantla, and I wanted to share part one of things to know about collaboration with you. So there are five things that I'm going to go over in part one, and then later I'm going to do another five for you. So the first one is collaboration is what happens when we step outside of ourselves and honor the space we share with more people outside of us being individuals. So simply saying collaboration is what we create when we come together, which is a beautiful thing. So I wanted to start out with that because a lot of us right now are doing collaborations or thinking about doing collaborations in business. So we want to understand what a collaboration is. And not saying that most of you didn't already know that, but you want to have an idea of what it is. So when you are coming together with individuals, other individuals, that you both have an understanding. Now, maybe you have to speak that and you tell them that this collaboration is when we're coming together as one and we're making beautiful work together for our businesses. And so it doesn't hurt to just remind yourself and others of what collaboration really is and what it means to you because it may mean something different to someone else that you're about to step into um, you know, a new project with. So you just wanna make sure that there's clear understandings on what collaboration is for you and what collaboration is for them. The second one is that there is no I in team. This is how powerful collaborations are created because when you bring egos into any type of collaboration, that stops you from turning that I into us. So we want to leave egos outside of our collaborations. Collaborations also require the support of each other, teamwork, and clear understanding of the purpose in valuing the collaboration. So this means that all people involved will get the maximum benefit of this beautiful thing that you're doing, this great project that you're working and collaborating on. The third is acknowledge and appreciate the space that the collaboration is merging into and thrive in it. Make the commitment to create this kind of space, even when it's difficult, because we all have ups and downs when we're collaborating. Sometimes differences arise and sometimes we don't communicate really well. And it causes us to kind of rethink this collaboration when we really have to understand, acknowledge and appreciate the space that the collaboration has brought us to. And then it kind of allows us to realign the whole purpose of why we came together with these individuals or individual for this collaboration. The fourth one is collaboration requires connection and openness. And that doesn't mean just to the people that you are collaborating with. It also means to yourself first and foremost. Being open creates a synergy when interacting with each other that plants seeds for a beautiful collaboration. That synergy plants seeds for the result to be amazingly beautiful. So you want to make sure that there's connection and openness from the very beginning. The fifth one is collaboration requires acceptance and shared values. This means sharing a commitment to the goal and the outcome for the process. You know, we have to always remember that we have to look for ways to contribute in collaborations. It's not just coming to the collaboration and thinking, you know, selfishly about what I'm going to get out of it as a business owner, how it's going to highlight me, how I'm going to be the single person or factor that benefits from this beautiful collaboration. You have to always think of ways that you can contribute. So when you contribute, it also allows life to organically unfold in portions where you know it creates and helps to create a beautiful collaboration. So I hope these five tips helped you on part one of things to know about collaboration.